What is going on, everybody, and welcome back as we continue on with Oliver Barton and the Colorado Rockies. Getting ready to make our 12th appearance of the season. Oh. Against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Game's tied at four. Um, I wanted to apologize for yesterday's video quality. Uh, apparently, I'd left Steam running in the background. And it was doing some updates and kind of taken away from some of my, my CPU. So, anyway, all that shut down. We should be fine today. Start off facing Eric Cruz. See if we can continue on. We didn't give up a run yesterday. Like we only gave up a hit. We walked one. It was pretty solid outing all in all. Oh, I guess it was a multiple outings, but regardless, pretty solid. We go to one and one, and Cruz, just with the fastball, so. But we're going to throw another one. And it's hit right back up the middle. All right, so, give up a base hit right off the bat, and that's probably not exactly what we were looking to do. So, face Walker here. And see if we can't get him to roll into a double play. We're going to sacrifice Bunt. That was kind of a weird little pitch, but it works out. So, I'll take that. Okay, so double plays out of the question. And he'll go opposite field. Right fielder will come in and grab that one. There's two away. Oh, one more out to go. That fastball right in there. We are also on pace already to try to break some more appearance records. As we, uh, this is game 16, and what I say, this is appearance number 12. That's uh, a lot of appearances. A short time. Got this cutter out here again. Got him. So we set the Diamondbacks down. Strand a guy out at second. And we'll come in for the bottom of the sixth. Hopefully the Rockies can put up some runs on the board. It's going to be it for us today, though. Johnny Barbato is going to come on, make his seventh appearance. Guy still hasn't given up a run, so kudos to him. And we're going to walk it off, so at least we took the W. See who the big hero is. Doc Peterson, who went 2 for 5. Solo home run as probably the walk-off home run. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring you back for the next appearance. So, just as uh, we're ready to make our 13th appearance. Team had a day off yesterday, so that's the only day. Probably why we didn't pitch yesterday, but getting ready to face the Giants now. I believe it's in the seventh. Remember what the score was. But, you know, as always, the goal is not to let any runs in. Leon Padilla, 0 for 2 on the day. 3 to 2 Rockies. 
is in the seventh. That fastball over for strike one. Foul that one off for strike two. We'll bring the cutter in. Foul that one off. One thing I did start doing last episode is, and he can go sit down, is I've just mostly been relying on the fastball cutter. I haven't been throwing anything else a whole lot. There's no point in it. Coming in for an inning, just try to gas everybody. Tejada will come up, one for two. He has a home run. It's a two-run shot, I guess. Figured if I can just throw hard and get it past everybody, everything will be all right. We were trying to be too fancy early on. Since then, we've been pitching pretty well. There's two outs. Lee Burns. Coming up as a pinch hitter. That fastball over for strike one. That's balling again. Well, he left that one up a little bit, but it be a up up fly ball to shallow right. The baseman's going to grab that, and that's going to be a nice one, two, three inning. I imagine that's going to do it for this game. I imagine they're going to ask us to go another inning with one run, with a one run lead. They are not. Johnny Barbato will come in. Pitch the eighth. Try to preserve the lead. And. For Flood, picking up a win again. That's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Be the year last year. Anyway, go ahead, we'll bring you back. Oh, another game against the Giants. Uh, one of those games where, you know, it just kind of loads up into. You don't know what's really going on. They don't give you anything. You just hope it's nothing too crazy. They decide to let us pitch. Guy Betts will come up as a pinch hitter. And it's nine to three Rockies here in the eighth. Holy crap. We got the call on that one, that's for sure. He's hitting two oh three on the year. Up to a pretty slow start. It's because we got the call on the last one, they didn't want to give us that that fastball call, so up goes one and one. Not sure where we missed on that. But we will come in with the change up. He'll foul that off. Come back with the cutter inside. Count being two and two. Went. Go sit down, Betts. Pick up the strikeout. Start the inning off. We'll bring up the Burns, I'm guessing. Not going to let me know. Or the, the announcer said it's Burns. We'll miss with that fastball. He'll pound that one foul. Yep. 
Flare that one right over the first baseman's head for a base hit. Who does to him? That was just uh, that was a luck hit. Got enough of it to get it up over the pitcher's head. Up Kevin Pilar, 0 for 3 on the day. Can't get him to ground into a double play. Oh, that went off behind the plate. Low with that fastball. We do have a runner on first. I think I am going to bring a change up. God, can't get him to pound it into the ground. Oh, he'll foul that one off. Go with our cutter inside, and he's going to that one into the gap. We didn't get it inside enough. Billy Burns is going to come around to score. Pilar is going to get into third with the triple. That's the first run we've given up in a while. Good thing it came with a huge lead. Nine to four now. A runner on third with one out. David Dahl up, former hockey center fielder. For three, he had a three run shot earlier. Guessing because he has a home run and three RBIs. Right, that one gets away from the catcher but just falls right in front. And that one's back up the middle for a base hit. And we've given up two this inning. Blame it on the big lead. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Do better in uh, pressure situations. And we'll start him out with a fastball. Nine to five now, Salvador Perez 0 for 3. I just won a double play ball. There we go. There it is. Got the double play ball, got out of the inning. Sadly, we gave up two runs. But Panic makes a nice diving grab. Tosses it on to second to start the double play. Gets us out of the eighth. Man, this is taking quite a while to get through. There we go. And Bradley will come out to pitch the uh, ninth. Be his ninth appearance. Point seven on ERA. Hockeys are going to win that one. I think we're moving in the right direction now, team-wise. Go ahead and bring it back for the next one. So we'll face the Giants again. We can hold them this time and not give up any runs. Kind of nice. ERA probably went up a little bit. You can see they're not giving us any stats over here on the right side. Leonardo Blanco is going to come in to be the catcher. Kevin Plor had an RBI triple yesterday against us. He's 0 for 3 today. Team's tied at two. And he'll go down and foul that one off. This ball goes low. Goes one and one. 
And he'll foul that one off. And with this cutter, doesn't come in. That one's off my foot. And he's going to be safe. I think that was off my foot. So either off my foot or off the rubber. It was off the rubber because I probably would have been down. Anyway, he beats that out. Now we got a guy on first to contend with. And it's going to be Billy Burns as he comes in as a pinch runner. Have to pay attention to him. Look over here. And I figured he was running. I threw over. He takes second easily. Ah, that makes me a little bit upset. Should have threw over right off the bat. And that one's going to go foul. So, nice bun attempt, but it's not going to pan out. And what are you doing? Third baseman, what are you doing? Shoddy defense. Now there's runners on first and second. Well, I guess the guy didn't advance, so that's good. David Dahl will come up one for three. Doubled earlier. And he's going to lay down the bunt. He'll be out at first. Runners on second and third now, though. Oh, there should be two outs with the runner on third. That's all I'm saying. Mookie Betts will come up one for two on the day. Fields drawn in. Strikeout situation here. And he'll a hard line drive foul. Hey, there we go. That'll work. Line drive right at the third baseman. There's two outs. Might be able to strand these guys. Salvador Perez, two for three, has two doubles on the day. He will miss with that fastball. I'm like making it uh, dramatic. Here we go. That strike counts one and one. And definitely left that fastball up, but he just fouls it off. Try to bring this cutter in, and we get him. So we strand two runners out there, both in scoring position. All game stays tied at two. Little fist pump action. All kinds of excited. Dominic Liggett will come in. He has five saves on the year, so I guess we took the lead. And Rockies will win it. Wilson, maybe, yeah, Wilson probably took it. Took the win. Probably went into extras. Go ahead and we'll bring you back for the next one. Appearance number 16, the 12 and 8 Rockies were five games behind the Dodgers for 11 or no, 15 and 4. I don't know, they were way up there. Rockies are in second place in the West. Be four games back, seems a bit ridiculous. But anyway, you can see 16. Appearance. We got a 3.12 ERA thanks to those two runs we gave up earlier in the episode. It's in the Padres as Jonas Gonzalez comes up 0 for 3 on the day. 
Padres have a 3-2 to two lead. We took the first game of the four-game set. We're mostly just trying to keep the lead where it's at. We're not mostly. Definitely just trying to keep the lead where it's at. This cutter in. We didn't bring it in enough. That one gets hit hard. That one's gone. Well, that is not what you want to do. That's his first major league home run. Oh, man. Ever want to be that guy who gives up the first? I think that cutter was that, that high, but apparently... Apparently it was. So... Padres now have a 4-2 to two lead. Oh, poor guy. Nobody wants to do anything with him. There. All right. Uh, I, uh, I guess that was more in a wheelhouse than I thought it was. Carlos is all way. One for three. He has a solo shot on the books. Foul that fastball off. And there we go. We'll get him reaching. We'll set him down. So bounce back. We're giving up that home run. We come back and get the next guy on three outs. On three pitches. We'll see. Be able to uh, finish out the rest of this inning without much. Uh, any problems? Second baseman has to make a diving stop though to get that one, so we might have problems. Nice play out there by Panic. Yep, Manuel Margot, Padres center fielder, going to come up. I can't believe I gave up that home run. That is, that is kind of depressing. And Margot is going to hit a fly ball out the right center. Right fielder tracks it down. It's going to be that one. So hopefully the Padres can, not the Padres, the Rockies, put up some runs. Cal Franco come in to pinch hit for us. Now the Padres end up winning it. Good for them. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring you back. All right, so time-wise, we're on that cusp of, you know, if we go multiple innings, it's going to be longer than I'd like, but this is probably going to be shorter than I kind of wanted, but eh, we're just going to end it here. 271 available points. Look at that. Home runs against. Well, that's not what we wanted. The K is per nine, which is 337, so that's not going to work out. So we'll just drop down to the fastball. Like I said, I'm just going to work my way down one by one. And hopefully not get any little yellow arrows. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for daily videos. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Toodles. Thank you.